uh, here we will see how to install the GX verse 3 and GX verse uh, 2 so once you have downloaded the files then you can uh, click on the extraction of this file and then uh, the extraction folder is there the installation folder you can uh, then uh, click on auto run once you click on the auto run it will show the uh, installation uh, dashboard so from here you can click on GX works 3 and uh, now here, here you can see the GX works 3, GX works 2, CPU model logging and GX works view viewer so we'll start the installation uh, we'll click continue next and just wait for complete the installation It takes some time to install.
we are almost close to finished installation normally it will take around uh, 20, uh, 15 to 20 minutes to in install the complete software Normally this software uh, having combination of uh, GX Works 3 and GX Works 2 also. No need to install separately GX Works 2. It will uh, club with this one. So here GX works 2, GX works 3, both are uh, installed. Video viewer is also installed. GS uh, logic viewer also installed. Uh, CPU module also installed. So we can click on next. So here just asking, uh, do you want to title of the software or uh, some shortcuts uh, installation if required? We can click on here. Otherwise, we can click on ok and uh, here please execute registration profile after the getting latest profile it's asking so you just click on ok click on ok uh, here it asking uh, to restart the PC or not so later on we can uh, restart so I will click on no uh, before uh, to start this one you can uh, restart the your PC finish once the installation done we can uh, click on the GX works 2 and uh, start the project so here you can create a new project new project then uh, see uh, select your CPU required we have multiple CPUs we, so for example we will see uh, it's Q CPU Q mode then uh, CPU model is uh, required to select here so for example I will select a Q03 UDV and some structure project we can select uh, some uh, for example first one we will create with the structure ladder or uh, the ladder there are multiple options you can choose uh, so for first I will say uh, select the structure ladder click on OK now my project is created I will close this output window my project is created so I will uh, take the one input uh, here uh, and I will give the name here as uh, M1 and I will take one output and so I will give the name here as uh, M2 or whatever name you want to give you can give for example I will take one more output so I will click it here okay and first I will if you want to connect this here just click uh, here drag and drop so I will give here lamp name lamp so this variable we need to declare uh, in the global or uh, local I will click it on local and say apply so uh, whatever name you want to give you can give I just if, if I want to here is a start start so I will give that name also and just declare that variable apply and close
okay uh, this the kind of variable also you can give or the fixed addresses also you can use I will give you as a motor and declare that variable in local or global so okay uh, here are the global variable you can uh, declare these are global labels and some local variables we have declared here is three variable this one is a program uh, structure data types is here device memory device communication you can set the communication setup here like for example if you the, your PLC is connected with a USB uh, then you can select the Ethernet. Ether if you are connected with the Ethernet, you can select the Ethernet board. If you, it is connected with the serial, you can connect with the serial. And once you uh, select the Ethernet board, you need to click on PLC module and uh, has some IP addresses all assigned. So PLC module you can select IP address and uh, PLC also you can select it here and then click on OK. <laughs> okay now the configuration network configuration is okay but still I will uh, use as a simulation mode so uh, in the uh, before run you need to rebuild or build I will build uh, rebuild all so no error in function is okay then I will run in simulation uh, start the simulation okay then close now, uh, now my program is online so I, if I want to modify the values I will just click it here and uh, do the modification like uh, on some value I will give here that's one device label I need to select I will select that device label as a start okay and click it on see my output is on output is off is thank you it's a you can develop new programs here and do the, some modification the similar case for the PLC online you can use the same thing so I will close here and if you want to stop uh, debugging mode uh, this that simulation mode you can stop the simulation mode your simulation controller will close automatically if you start again then you can click on the simulation mode and start the simulation mode okay and here we have uh, multiple options if you have some error you can stop the controller uh, reset it and uh, then again you can click on run and if you want to watch then you need to click it on watch button then all windows are in monitor uh, monitor mode so you can again click on here start on and off okay Thank you, thank you so much.